and saw them safely through the flood, that you also used water with your son Jesus Christ as he was baptized by John in the River Jordan. So bless now this water as Drew Trevor is washed in this water and your word and becomes your child. We pray this through Jesus Christ, our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Drew Trevor Olson. Drew Trevor Olson Hall, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Get as wet as you can. <laughs> that you might know that you are washed by God's grace. You will have marks forever on your certificates. And that's a good reminder. If you'll respond to this baptism, you belong to Christ in whom you have been baptized. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Through Trevor Olson Paul, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And somewhere there's a candle here, but it's not. There it is. It's hiding. But that's not what we're to do with this light. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of light. And we invite you, Drew, to let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works, that they may see God's light in you and give glory to your Heavenly Father. You will. You may take that light and use it. Maybe your mom would better take that. Too. <laughs> and light it each anniversary of a baptism as a reminder that God's light has been given to you. Let's welcome Drew into our midst using these words, and then, if you will, with a less formal way of welcoming him. Please, we welcome him. Welcome him to the body of Christ, and to the mission we share. Join us in giving thanks and praise to God, and bearing God's creative and redeeming word to all the world. Yes. Printed in your bulletin, let's sing together. 